Introducing the horses race number eight. This evening's eighth race, the first elimination of the Ohio's first lady, Philly Pace. Three-year-olds racing uh, one mile, a purse of $18,648. There are no changes in this field of 10. Number one as a Noble and Sam Philly, owned by Terry Gillen of Massillon, Ohio. Jeff Cox is the uh, trainer. With a mark of 156 and 3 here at the Cider Downs, earnings of $50,000. Dave Miller driving Lola's Bud Light. The two is a Tucson Hanover Philly, owned by Charles and Kathleen Kidd of Utica, Ohio. Kenny Kidd, the uh, trainer. With a mark of 159 and 3 in a qualifier, earnings of $18,000. Coming in from Mount Vernon, it's Tucson Shannon with Kenny Kidd. The three is a Farmstead's Fame Philly, owned by Stan Milan of Xenia. Travis Redden is the uh, trainer with a mark of 157 and three, earnings of $16,000 in from Ohio Fair Sticks at Northfield. Midnight Fame, driven tonight by Jeff Out. The four is a daughter of Tudor Scooter, owned by Jack Franklin of Xenia and Val Beam of Columbus. Jack Franklin is the uh, trainer. Three-year-old record at Lexington, 156 and three, earnings of $8,500. In from Washington, it's Hills Puppy Scooter with Jack Franklin. From post five, another daughter of Tudor Scooter owned by Steve Croft, Gregory March, and Hill Browning of Ohio. Steve Croft training. A three-year-old record, her last start here, 56 and 2, earnings of $27,000. Dave Hawk driving Hills War Feather. Number six is a Dare You Two Philly. Owned by Don Huddleston of Chillicothe, Jerry Kuchbach, the uh, trainer, with a three-year-old record of 57 and 2, her last start here at the Cider Downs, $22,000 in earnings. Jim Daly driving favorite, Madam. The next one is also a Tudor Scooter Philly, owned by Barbara King of Columbus, Jimmy King Trains. A two-year-old bus to 154 and three, earnings of $120,000. Randy Tharps behind King's First Lady. Number eight, a Nobleland Sam Philly owned by Joe Sabranco of Brexville and Donald Torr of Ohio, Gary Martin Training. A mark of 155 and four here at the Cider Downs, earnings of $24,000. Don Irvine Jr. driving, here I am, baby. From the far outside, post nine, it's a Nobleland Sam Philly owned by Al Vestink, Virgil Morgan, Grove City, and Ron Broadstone of Columbus, Virgil Morgan Jr. Trains. A mark of 159 and one at the Meadows, earnings of $70,000. Brad Hanner's driving Duchess Tradition. Trailing position number 10. Here is another Tudor Scooter Philly owned by Ross Herr and Jim Woodward of Groveport. Ross Herr, the trainer. A mark of 156 and four, earnings of $34,000. Merrymaker with Eric Ludford. There's your field. First elimination, the first four will return for the 12th race final. One play show per First elimination, Ohio's First Lady Philly Pacers lining up and moving in. They're on the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Lola's Bud Light from off the rail, moving briskly for the lead. Hills Peppy Scooter right there with her racing is second, and from the outside, King's First Lady Mary Maker slipping through alertly at the wheelers, racing for it. Five of the outside and looking for a seat. Here I am, baby. And at the rail, racing is sixth. It's Tucson Shannon. To the outside, racing is seventh. Dutch's tradition. Two lengths and eighth. It's Midnight Fame. On the inside, the early trailer is favored, madam. They reach the first quarter mile marker. 26 and three. Moving right along here. And it's Lola's Bud Lights with a lead. And Miller will reel her in here looking for a breather. But he won't get it. Here comes Mary Maker. And Ledford is pulling the pocket with a three to one. Mary Maker. And Mary Maker sent right to the front. Lola's Bud Light on the inside. She'll get a nice breather here. Pepe's scooter on the inside is racing at third. And now here comes. King's First Lady, she's on the way to the outside, racing fourth, the half, 55 and four, as they swing to the back stretch. And the front end belongs to Mary Maker, Lola's Bud Light of the inside is racing a second, and King's First Lady pulling out all stops here, moving first up and third to the outside. Here's a perfect trip for Tucson Shannon. She's drafting with cover and fourth. Hills Puppy Scooter at the wheel is fifth. At the wheel and sixth, Hills Warfeather to the outside and seventh. It's 
Here I am, baby, tightly packed here as they reach the three quarter mile marker in one, 25 and three. And it's Mary Maker with the lead. The 10 to one shot, Tucson Shannon swinging wide to the outside. Between them, King's First Lady. And at the rail, Lola's Bud Light is still there. Now with less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come. Mary Maker clings to the lead. Tucson Shannon looking for the upset here. And Tucson Shannon all out. Lola's Bud Light to the inside as they drive the deep stretch. Here's Hills War Feather. Hills War Feather zooming up to take it late in 154 and 3. Official winner, the first elimination of the Ohio's First Lady Philly Pace. Number five, Hills War Feather. Tudor Scooter Philly from the Oil Burner Mare, Warpath Elmerhurst. Bred by the Hill Farms of Hilliard, owned by Steve Croft. Gregory March and Hill Browning of Ohio. Steve Croft, the trainer. What an alert drive here from Dave Hawk as he scores his second of the night with Hills Warfeather. Second consecutive, and that is a career mark for her 154 and 3. Order finished from the top Lola's Bud Light 2, Tucson Shannon 4, Midnight Fame 10, Hills Peppy Scooter 6, Hills Warfeather, the winner. Favorite Madam 5.